my name is Anthea McIntyre and I'm a member of the European Parliament for the West Midlands region and we are here in Birmingham today um, to discuss the important issues of Jammu and Kashmir. I am also co-chairman of the Friends of Kashmir in the European Parliament. So I have two roles really. And the first thing in the European Parliament is to get my colleagues from all the other 27 countries to understand the issues of Kashmir, to understand the real problems that we have there, to understand the abuse of human rights, and then to take some action. Too often it is the British members in the European Parliament that are taking action. I want to include all of the other um, countries and get them to take action too. But here in Birmingham tonight, we must send a very strong voice of condemnation of the Indian Army's occupation of Jammu and Kashmir. The way that they are with impunity able to maim, to blind, to attack the local population with in effect pellet guns, 12 bore shotguns, which can do enormous harm. And we must call on the government of India to stop this happening, to stop the occupation, and ex most importantly, to stop the immunity from prosecution of the Indian forces. They cannot be allowed to get away with this without some complaint, without some action. And I really hope that the British government will take action too. One of the possibilities that we have as a result of leaving the European Union is to make sure that our government in, here in the UK has a strong policy towards Jammu and Kashmir, that we lead and we do not agree to trade um, deals with India without something in return. It is too high a price to pay to see people being blinded, being maimed, being attacked in this way. We have got to demand that stops before we press forward with trade deals. Human rights are so important and human rights must be defended by the British government.